Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. So today we're going to see some drills with the head back. The two main points of this drill are timing and power. So different ways to, to use it. So again, easiest way is to, to have someone pull and push for you. If you don't have anyone to pull and push for you, you can use your uh, lead hand, only the lead hand. Don't use so much the back hand because then you're opening your frame. You want here, keeping your frame as tight as possible, your elbows a little bit in, not like this. Here, you suck in, and the back hand step in for any attack. Same if I want the left side, that's completely okay. The important thing is to use the timing where the head back is returning so I feel the feedback onto my body. Do a lot of repetitions of this. It's something that takes time and more importantly, don't start too hard. You don't want to get hurt. This is an easy way to get hurt if you have no control. Uh, you can bust your shins or uh, if you have the wrist in the wrong direction, you can actually hurt your wrist, your shoulder. So, again, go light at first. Get the timing. And as you get the timing, put more po power into it. Put more of your body into it. Don't put your head forward. Use your whole body. Not here, but here. Here, but here. Not here, but here. So make sure that you use your body to generate that power. Don't use uh, your head first. So, and first way, push with your hand. Wow. <laughs> Can use for luck. You can use it for the knee. You can use it for the elbow. I'll show it to the side. One more time with the punches. Kicks. Knee. Elbows. Now, you can also use the same way with the teep. So instead of pushing with the hand, we use our push kick or teep. For this, I recommend you to bring the knee back here so you can regain your posture. And we'll go here and then punch, you'll miss it. So this is also a great way to practice your teep. So keep your elbows around the rib line, just a little bit higher. Here, you can still block, you can still turn a bit. You don't need to open too much. You can do it a little bit, but don't go over 45 degrees. So, again, elbows out. Very difficult, it's here. I use my knee up, push. Again, push, kick, return. Push, kick, return. See how I use my legs, not the head. Now with the kick. And the same knee. You 
can have hands here or here. Both are good. Different situations though. Then elbow. You want to jump a little bit for the elbow to get close. I'll show it to this side. and elbow. So this is a perfect drill to build timing and power. Use it frequently, but don't only focus on that. The first Muay Thai, you always want to practice it. You'll see Thais do this all the time, just practicing one shot for getting their timing specifically for their counters or how to get inside for clenching or how to avoid the clenching. So but it is part of the game, but it's not everything. You still want to have your normal head back drills. You still want everything else. But if you want to use this one time just to build that power and timing, this is the perfect drill. I hope you like it. Uh, please, if, if uh, you enjoy the content, if you feel it, it's helpful, please leave a like, uh, comment, let me know what, you, uh, what kind of technique you want. Uh, I'll be trying to post to this channel as much as I can, but uh, with uh, my classes and everything else, it's become a little bit more, more difficult. I would need as many content requests so I can actually do this in one go and then uh, being able to upload it weekly. So, uh, hope, you, hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Peace.